so this is the structure of blastocyst the blastocyst differentiated into outer region of the blastocyst you can observe here outer region of the blastocyst differentiated into trophoblast and inner region the inner portion of the blastocyst is called inner cell mass that is only we discussed here this point the blastomers in the blastocyst are arranged into an outer layer called a trophoblast and inner group of cells attached to the trophoblast cells are called inner cell mass and the remaining space which is presented in the blastocyst is called blastocele here blastulation rearrangement of a blastomers from the blastocyst with a blastocele right okay so outer region is called trophoblast and inner region is called inner cell mass and the space which is presented in the region of blastocyst is called blastocele so how much time it will take for the formation of blastocyst from the zygote so after the fertilization the zygote undergoes different types of the cleavage and blastomers formation is takes place and morula is formed from the morula blastocyst is formed so it will take one week after one week of fertilization blastocyst get implanted into the uterine wall that is implantation once blastocyst is formed blastocyst going to be blastocyst is going to be attaches with the endometrium wall of the uterus is implantation after one week of fertilization so zygote develops as blastocyst it will take one week time after one week it is going to be implanted so what are the, what is the functions of trophoblast and inner cell mass of blastocyst outer trophoblast and inner region inner cell mass of blastocyst so trophoblast further attaches with endometrium of the uterus endometrium wall of the uterus and it should not for, further develops as an embryo trophoblast should not further develops as an embryo so embryo formation is takes place from where embryo formation is takes place from the inner cell mass only in the blastocyst so you can observe here point at the time of implantation trophoblast layer then gets attached to the endometrium of uterus and inner cell mass gets differentiated as embryo once again i am repeating this point at the time of implantation trophoblast layer then gets attached to the endometrium of uterus and the inner cell mass gets gets differentiated as embryo so embryo development further embryo development which is takes place from the inner cell mass so trophoblast what is the function of trophoblast further attaches with the endometrium of the uterus once implantation takes place once implantation is takes place after attach attachment to the uterine cells divide rapidly and covers the blastocyst after the attachment once embryo blastocyst is going to be implanted the uterine cells divides rapidly and covers the blastocyst so implantation the blastocyst tightly embedded with the uterine wall of the the endometrium wall of the uterus is called implantation so after attachment what happens after attachment of the blastocyst the uterine cells divides rapidly and covers the blastocyst the blastocyst is embedded into embedded with the uterus wall by this process the blastocyst be the blastocyst becomes embedded in endometrium of uterus the blastocyst embedded in the region of 
endometrial wall of the uterus that is called implantation so what is implantation the process of the blastocyst becomes embedded in the endometrial wall of the uterus is called implantation so once implantation takes place it is the confirmation of pregnancy so earlier topic we discussed all copulation not leads to the pregnancies what is the reason are you remembered or not yes what is the reason simultaneously sperms and ova which is presented in the region of uh, the ova which is presented in the region of oviduct simultaneously sperms are religious then sperms and ova beat at the same time then only fertilization occurs so all copulation further not leads to the pregnancies so once fertilization occurs it is the indication of pregnancy it is the confirmation of pregnancy no once fertilization occurs the zygote starts development and formation of blastocyst and blastocyst is attaches with uterus wall embedded with the uterus wall implantation occurs then only the confirmation of pregnancy is takes place once implantation occurs that is the confirmation of pregnancy up to this clear all of you so again i am repeating this topic so blastulation rearrangement of blastocyst blastomers from the blastocyst with blastoseal is called blastulation so what is blastoseal cavity of the blastocyst is called blastoseal so blastocyst further differentiated into two different regions that is outer region is called trophoblast and inner region is called inner cell walls so after fertilization after fertilization when blastocyst is formed it takes one week time during one week the blastocyst formation is takes place from the zygote the implantation is takes place so after fertilization how much time is taken how much time it will take for implantation it will take one week right so what is blastocyst the cavity which is presented in the blastocyst is called blastocyst right so what is the function of trophoblast trophoblast further attaches with the endometrium of the uterus and what is the function of inner cell mass inner cell mass gets differentiated into embryo right and blastocyst tightly embedded with uterus wall and after attachment of the uterus uterine after attachment of the uterus the uterine cells divide rapidly and covers the blastocyst so by this process the blastocyst becomes embedded in the endometrium of the uterus is called implantation so one once implantation occurs that is the confirmation of pregnancy right so related to implantation diagram in ncrt implantation diagram is mentioned so here this is the ncrt diagram transportation of ovum fertilization and passage of growing embryo through the fallopian tube transportation of ovum fertilization and passage of growing embryo through the fallopian tube so this is the female reproductive system along with ovary and fallopian tubes and uterus so from the ovary the secondary oocyte the ovum is releases so that is ovulation at 14th day so here the structure of ovum we discussed in earlier class are you remembered or not yes this is ovum and vitellin membrane perivitellin space zona pellucida outermost corona radiata so that is a structure of ovum so b indicate b shows fertilization sperm entry only single sperm entry that is monospermy so c so you can observe c diagram so here the zygote forms 
and jay goats